So greeting, well, not even in focus. <laughs> Hello you guys, and guess where I am? Um, I'm just gonna, wait, wait, there we go. Oh my God, I'm in Paris, and I'm so excited. And like literally, oh my gosh, like the Eiffel Tower is legit, just like right there, like right there. This is freaking awesome. I am so excited, seriously. I'm gonna keep saying it, because I'm just like, oh, Paris, because you got the good food, Good wine, good bread, good desserts, great fashion. Not that I'm really here for the fashion, I'm just really here for the food and the good drink. Also, Pearl's here. I know this light is really terrible and it's like super orangey, but I can't do anything about it. I've tried to play around in the settings, it ain't working, so you're just gonna have to deal with being orange. My eyes are watering, it's kinda cold. But yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with crappy orange, horrible light. Um, so yeah, we're by the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> in, case, in case you didn't know. I for tell. And um, we are currently heading to a Christmas market. I think it's called Champ, Champ de Mars, I want to say. Excuse my terrible pronunciation, but yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's over there. If you can see. Nope, you can't see, it's too dark. But there's like huts right over there. And um, hopefully we're going to find some good food. And some good wine. And I don't know. Got anything else to add? Not really. No, not really. <laughs> but yeah, off we go. guys today is Tuesday and I didn't actually finish the vlog yesterday because okay well fail <laughs> the Christmas market actually wasn't near the Eiffel Tower it doesn't start until Thursday poopily so we couldn't go there so we just had dinner and that was pretty much it we were pretty knackered last night so we just came back and chilled and today is a new day and we are gonna try and get to quite a few Christmas markets today because um, they all close really early, like they're really different from obviously the German Christmas markets which are open until like, I don't know, 10 until 11 at night or something like that. But here they're only open like 10 till 7, so we're gonna have to try and fit like three-ish Christmas markets in today along with some sightseeing. Um, we've got some plans in a little while, it's currently like quarter past 11 which is late, yes, but <laughs> we were tired, we were relaxing and now we're ready to go. So we're just gonna grab something really little for breakfast, like a croissant or something from the boulangerie. I'm so excited to go because, oh my God, yeah, like I said yesterday, I'm obsessed with food, especially like bread and pastries and stuff. So I'm really excited to see what they have. And it's gonna be really yummy and freshly made, so. And then, yeah, we've got lunch, lunch plans at, I think, half past one. So we've got a couple of hours to kill and then the goodness will start of hopefully finding Christmas markets and to like buy some I don't know, Christmassy goods and stuff. I'm really hot, I'm like, I'm, I'm not swearing. It's because I've got all my layers on for outside because it's like three degrees and feels like one or something stupid like that. So <laughs> it's really hot in this room. But yeah, I thought I'd do like a quick room tour. And you walk in, you've got a nice little dark closet here. Can I turn on all the lights? Let's see if that makes it any better. But there you go. Closet to your right, and then you walk in, you've got a Kyle. He's sitting there. <laughs> Got your TV, windows, nice, really actually a really comfortable bed. I'm pretty surprised because usually hotel beds aren't actually that comfortable and the pillows as well, they usually suck. But these are actually really nice and like floofy. So then yeah, don't mind all the mess because we've just kind of made ourselves at home. You've got the bathroom, um, sink, the shower, which is pretty cool. It's like, it's like a rain shower. All nice, all nice, and then yeah. You're wondering where the toilet is, right? Well, it's in this door. It's quite cramped actually, but it's pretty cool. It's a nice little room. And there's just random area for random stuff. And we're gonna go get some food because I'm hungry. So I'll catch you. I will catch up with you guys in a little while. Bye.
I think we can cross the road here. I hope we don't die. Um, we've just got in the train. I don't think we're meant to cross there. But, uh... <laughs> just dying in traffic right now in Paris because we have no idea where we're going. But no, we have just made it to Concorde, uh, the train station, which is... Wait, you can't even see it yet. Hang on, hang on. Let, 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 let us cross the road first. Um, yes, so as I was saying, we are at... What's it called again? <laughs> the the uh, obelisk, which I think is the Place de Concorde. I don't know, I've got sunglasses on, this is really hard to see. But it, it's, it's like right, right, right in there. <laughs> which looks really tiny on camera, but it's not actually that tiny. Um, but yeah, we've got like an hour-ish to kill before our kind of lunch reservations. Green, have we got time to go? Oh my god. <laughs> We're just dying in French traffic right now, jaywalking to hell. <laughs> I don't recommend jaywalking. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just gonna, I guess, chill. It's actually really pretty here and, and they're doing a wedding shoot over there. I don't know if you can see that. Wedding pictures! this random fountain is I have no idea <laughs> I really wish that I knew more about these landmarks but I don't so pretty fountain and then yeah here is the Place de Concorde I guess giant Egyptian obelisk I don't know why Paris has a giant Egyptian obelisk <laughs> Get my head out of the way. 
that's like really cool in here. And this is one of the places that you should try to come to if you do come to Paris. I made a reservation, so try and make a reservation because it does get very busy. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna stop talking now and eat my food. So, yay! that's actually part of the Louvre or not. FYI, we're at the Louvre. <laughs> um, but I think that might be some of the inside of it. And yeah, now we're gonna go find the big famous triangle thing. So, oh wow, this is very bright. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just had to put the hat and gloves on because oh my God, it suddenly dropped by like, I don't know how many degrees, but it's freezing. But yes, how cool is this? <laughs> it's like, you know, one of those things where you've seen it in like movies and pictures and whatever, like a billion times, but to actually be here, it's so freaking cool. Kyle's just like, meh, sipping his tea. <laughs> but I'm just like, I'm just, yeah, this is, this is pretty damn cool. Like pretty damn cool. And this entire area is just amazing. Like this architecture and everything is just, so cool and yeah just like wow just wow it's so cute what movie was here again the Dan Brown movie isn't it Oh no! Wearing gloves and trying to vlog does not work. Ah, out of focus and too close. 
So if anyone remembers, what Dan Brown movie was here? Because I can't remember what it was called. And what other movies were here? I don't actually know either. But apparently, according to Kyle, quite a few. Yep. Loads. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know any. So yeah, this is a closer up shot. Isn't the Mona Lisa like right below there? Uh, or, I or, so. or one of one of these triangles, I don't know which one. But yes, this is the Louvre. And that's not actually, where, where are we? Can we see it? Can we see it? Nope, can't see it. Oh, this is like the inside of the Louvre. I don't know if you guys can see it, kind of a little bit. Looks pretty cool. We're not actually going in there because we just don't care about art that much. <laughs> I know it's really cool to see like uh, the Mona Lisa or whatever, but one day when we come back here, we can go see it. And then what was I saying? I can't, that, that, no, that, that, that. <laughs> it's, an, it's the Arc de Triomphe, but it's not the Arc de Triomphe, if that makes sense. So there's two of them and this is one of them. So I think we're now gonna just walk down Hopefully walk down the Champs d'Elysees and then see the actual other Arc de Triomphe. The real Arc de Triomphe? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, see the other one and... But yeah, it's some Christmas markets. You know what time is it right now? It's four o'clock, which is not dark, which is really bizarre because it feels like back home it would be dark by now. But uh, yeah, off we go. <laughs> so we have made it to La Defense and we changed our minds and decided to go to a completely different Christmas market. Apparently this is one of the biggest ones, uh, like I said, at La Defense. And um, yeah, we're just having a wander around really. It seems like there is a lot of stuff here. So, um, yes. I'm not sure if that's a shopping centre behind us, but might have to go check that out. Because apparently there is a shortage of toilets around here in France. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna have a wander around and see if we can get some mulled wine, because it is freezing. I do apologise people. Um, yeah, the river, not sure what that building is. And, uh, and then yeah, that is not to come in all its orange glory. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then yeah, this is like the area right here. Um, metro, right there. <laughs> If anyone needs a reference point, it's like pretty, well, kind of confusing the exits here and the stations, but I think it's just because we're not used to it, but yeah. Um, we're going to try and find the Christmas market around here. I'm not sure how much longer it's open, but hopefully we can get there and it's open until 8, I hope, but we'll see. And um, yeah, we're just going to have a, a little maze on around. 
just recorded a random <laughs> random occurrence that just happened um, we are at the Notre Dame market which is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was because um, on the website when you google this they say that it's like quite a big market but it's really very small it's also a market where everything's um, French made so yeah they were like Gen Geno students that were like hey can you say some stuff about the market probably rubbish but you know that that was a uh, fun camera time and um so yeah this is like a really really tiny market sadly no mild wine oh is that <laughs> well that that makes up for that but yeah it's really cute and like really really small like literally it's literally that many stalls. So yeah, not very many stalls at all, but it's near the Notre Dame as the backdrop, so you know, it's pretty cool. What another thing. And um yeah. What now, sir? What now? I don't know, you wanna be in France. <laughs> Lou <laughs> coming to you from the hotel room. Um so we went to a second Christmas market, but I just started feeling a bit blech. So we decided to come back to the hotel to chill for a while. I am still feeling like ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculously full from lunch, but Kyle's hungry. We've been to three Christmas markets, by the way. Three? Three. We went to Jermaine. Oh yeah. <laughs> three. Three Christmas, did I say two? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well there you go, <laughs> so we were at three Christmas markets, but the third one, I don't know, I wouldn't really call it a market per se, it was just kind of, I don't know, 10 of them, 12 of them, like just stalls on the street, it was a bit, a bit naff, um, yeah, I, I feel bad because Kyle wanted to go to Christmas markets and this just isn't like Germany, so sorry, sorry Kyle. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I know it's a bit of a mishmash of a day. There was like a lot of crap that happened, but hopefully it turns out well. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for another vlog. I have no idea what we're doing. Um, probably the Champs did it there because we didn't actually end up going there or the Arc de Triomphe or the second Arc de Triomphe. Still, still don't get that. But yeah, hopefully we're doing that and then I don't actually know what else we're doing. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Have a good day or night wherever you are in the world and peace. Bye. <laughs> Bye.